test marketing and market segmentation. We all know that when a new product is introduced in a small geographical territory and commercial viability is checked. In this lesson, we will describe test marketing, state various types of test marketing and market segmentation. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain test marketing, state various types of test marketing, define the pros and cons of test marketing, explain segmentation marketing. The ultimate way to test a new consumer product is to put it into full-blown test markets. The company chooses a few representative cities and the sales force tries to sell the trade on carrying the product and giving it good shelf exposure, full advertising and promotional strategy similar to the one used in the home market. Test marketing is the phrase commonly used to indicate an experiment, study or test that is conducted in a field setting. Two broad classes of test marketing are to test the sales potential for a new product or service and to test variations in the marketing mix for a product or service. Standard test market is one in which the firm tests the product and or marketing mix variables through the company's normal distribution channels. Controlled test markets are ones that are conducted by outside research firms that guarantee distribution of the product through pre-specified types and numbers of distributors. Electronic test markets are those in which a panel of consumers have agreed to carry identification cards that each consumer presents when buying goods and services. Simulated test markets are those in which a limited amount of data on consumer response to a new product is fed into a model containing certain assumptions regarding planned marketing programs which generates likely sales volumes. Web-based TV test market is similar to electronic test markets. These use broadband interactive TV, ITV and advances in interactive multimedia communication technologies to conduct the field experiment. Pre-selected respondents are shown various stimuli and asked questions online through their ITV. Virtual test markets are the tests that are completely computerized, allowing the test subjects to observe and interact with the product as though they were actually in the test tour's environment. Criteria for selecting test market cities depends on representativeness. Do demographics match the total market? Degree of isolation. Phoenix and Tulsa are isolated markets. Los Angeles is not isolated. Ability to control distribution and promotion. Are there pre-existing arrangements to distribute the new product in selected channels of distribution? Are local media designed to test variations in promotional messages? The pros of test marketing are it allows most accurate methods of forecasting future sales allows firms the opportunity to pre-test marketing mix variables. The cons of the marketing are it does not yield infallible results, are expensive, exposes the new product or service to competitors and takes time to conduct. The research process used to segment a market is called market segmentation research and consists of three steps identifying market segments in terms of their characteristics of the consumers, investigating the differences between segments, usually on the basis of attitudes, lifestyles, perceptions or benefits sought, and evaluating the long-term attractiveness of each segment. There are a number of variables that are used for segmenting a market. The common variables, that is, descriptors that are used to segment both consumer and industrial markets, a consumer needs, product usage, brand loyalty, geographical location, innovativeness and purchase inference. The cluster-based design groups respondents on the basis of similarities 
with reference to some set of selected variables like attitudes, needs, benefits and lifestyle. Now let's see how much you have learned till now. State whether the following statements are true or false. Marketing research can make valuable contribution to the determination of a segment. True. STMs can offer substantial laboratory test savings. False. The primary advantage of a traditional test is that the test is conducted in actual distribution channels. True. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Test marketing is a controlled experiment done in a limited part of the marketplace whose aim is to predict the sales or profit consequences either in absolute or in relative terms of one or more proposed marketing actions. Its main objective is to reduce the commercial risk when the product is brought into the market. A controlled test market is performed by an outside firm that guarantees distribution of the test product through outlets in selected cities. An electronic test market gathers data from consumers who agree to carry an identification card that they present when buying goods or services at participating retailers in selected cities. Simulated test market is used to project sales volume and to evaluate the planned marketing mix. There are two uses of test marketing. First, it may be used as a tool for managerial control. When a company plans to expand its business, many physical problems, for example handling of the product, inventory and transportation may prove to be costly mistakes if not taken care of. In such cases, test marketing is used to improve the mechanics of the marketing operation so that the management may know in advance the problems that are likely to arise and hence improve its marketing operations. Second, test marketing may also be used as a predictive research tool in two different conditions, viz. the introduction of a new product or brand and the evaluation of alternative marketing variables.